What's up, fam? Peace, peace. Black power, black power. All right, uh, today I wanted to make a video talking about one of my favorite movies or a series of movies or uh, just comic book character in general, and that's Blade. All right, and if you don't know much about Blade, Blade is the day walker. Okay, he's a vampire hunter, and he's also a vampire. Well, he's a, the, a mixed breed, if you will. Like, uh, his mother was bit um, while he was in the womb. But that's n n not really the important part of this video and why that I'm, why he's my favorite character. It has really nothing to do with vampires in particular, but the metaphorical meaning behind the, the Blade series and the Blade movie. All right, you got uh, the black man who is the chosen one. Right. And then you got uh, the elite. This in the first movie, right, the first movie, he's going up against these the these elite, like Illuminati almost characters. Right. They, they're very rich. They're untouchable. And um, they kind of run the police and they kind of get into that one in part three a little bit. But it kind of goes uh, all over the place in part three. But um. It's like, yeah, it's like he's going against this system. He's like one man against this network, this underground network that really pulls the strings and runs everything. And that is that's that's reality. Like, um, you know, it, it, it's kind of funny that, you know, you got sunscreen used in the first movie. And we all know what race of people need sunscreen. Um you got the Caucasian race that needs sunscreen. And it's, it like draws parallels from reality so much that white people are basically the ones who run this Illuminati thing. And, um, it's, and they're all, they're against black people, the black man, Blake. All right. So then, all right. That, there's a lot of things I like about this movie because it hits on a lot of points especially with the suntan lotion. That's like a little nod. Like uh, Deacon Frost is wearing a lot of suntan lotion to protect himself from the sun. And because, you know, they get sunburned, they get skin cancer. And they, in another part, at the end of the movie, and in Blade 2, they uh, har harvest his blood. And that's another thing that they do with black people. They organ harvest. They harvest our organs, and then they just sell them all around the, all the world, different places, you know, they, they had to try to get his blood to, to become something more powerful. And that's what they do. They take our blood, they take our blood, our bones, our marrows, our organs, everything. Um, What else? Yeah, n number one is my favorite movie because it really has him joining up with the black man, bl the black woman. It's like the black woman and the black man team up and they, they create a, a cure for the disease or whatever. And at the end, they're victorious. I like that story. Number two is like him against the, the the blood pack or him joining the blood pack and then some kind of thing with the little the other girl, Spanish girl. But it was still just, it was pretty much a good movie, a lot of good action in it. Number three, kind of, I thought they were, I mean, it had the Marvel sig symbol. So I, I thought they were kind of trying to bring him into the MCU with number three because it has the, the Marvel symbol in there. And, uh, and they brought him back to his comic book days when he was with this blood pack group. But um, it, it wasn't a good movie because, you know, I, it was like one of those things. Like, I think when they realized how much Blade 1 was successful and it made a black man look good and it made white people look like that they are pretty much albinos, uh, cavemen, vampires sucking blood and, and controlling, pulling the strings, being the Illuminati. It just really made everything look like, you know, white people are pretty fucking evil and like really white too. Like this Deacon Frost dude was like really white. Like if you put the suntan lotion on, it made him look even whiter. And it, and it was just like a, di a dynamic shift with the black man as the hero and the white man as the villain and these movies. And it's funny. That's why I think Blade 3 was so horrible because they try to make it, they try to flip it around and make him teammate. And they focus too much on his teammates and, and part one and part two, what made Blade so good 
was the, the fact that he had these epic bi battles at the end. And at the end of part three, there was an epic battle, but they tried to do this thing where they remix it and they make it three battle scenes all at once. So they had him and they had Ryan Reynolds and they had the, uh, the bitch fighting all together. And I was just like, ah, uh, I didn't like it. But there's a, on YouTube, you can find the fight where they've edited out all the other background bullshit and it's still pretty cool. It was still pretty a, a pretty good movie. But it it's, it's not the good ending for that series. They should at least do one more with Wesley Snipes and then reboot it with somebody else. And I think that they should really go ahead and give Blade all the powers of a uh, of a real vampire. No vampires can fly. They can turn into bats. And they have control over women. You know, there's a lot of different things that they can use with with Blade and make him a very powerful character. But back to what I was saying about the whole uh, metaphorical thing about Blade. It's like uh, his blood is, is so important. And that's that's what it is about black people. Our, our DNA is so important. And they, and they hate us because we can live in the sun. And they cannot live in the sun. And that is exactly the what it boils down to. We are God's favorite children. And they are cavemen. Evil. And they, you know, want, what, what do they do? They, they, they eat steak rare. They love to drink blood. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 they're savages. and But they run the world. Just watch Blade 1. Blade 2 got, gets into it a lot. Like, but, all right, I got to go. Like, subscribe, comment, peace. I'm out.